Right, so I've got this area in my kitchen I want to change. I can see we've got a blackboard here. I've got a shelf here I've made about a year ago. It's generally used for, for my children. Okay, so the plan, what I'm thinking is, is to keep the blackboard and shelf idea here. I want a smaller blackboard, a shelf here. Below the shelf, I want to put a couple of cubby holes. And below the cubby holes, I want the hooks. Okay, so I made a quick drawing here just so you can understand what I'm talking about a bit better. Uh, this is going to be our blackboard. We've got a shelf unit here, a couple of cubby holes, and the coat hooks. Now, as you can see, I've got some wood together. This is all going to be made from pallet wood. Okay, so I'm going to start cleaning up the pallet wood. Just making the backboard here. I'm going to attach all these with dowels and wood glue obviously just clamping all that up getting it attached as I say that's going to serve for my bat board just doing that cross section there so it doesn't bow up but clean up with the planer move on to the sander say this is a pallet wood build so I'm not too concerned about tidying it up too much just getting all the dust off okay now that's all dry I'm gonna mark that out square it off cut that on my bandsaw ideally you should use a table saw for a straighter cut but I don't own one. Just cleaning that up. Right, I'm just attaching two boards together now. There's still pallet wood. This is going to serve for the shelf brackets. Uh, attaching a couple more boards together. This is going to be the shelf. I don't feel I needed to put any dowels in that. Uh, this part I'm measuring halfway to cut it lengthways and that's going to serve for the chalkboard frame. See the cut in there? If you see my right hand it doesn't move as much as it acts like a fence if you like it's a good little tip there quick clean up all right i'm just cutting out a little groove here so i can fit a piece of mdf in there for the chalkboard i think they're called rabbits i have no idea why I'm just measuring out the frame for my chalkboard, doing a 45 cut for each corner. Obviously, cut your little rabbit or your groove out before you do that cut for a neater job. Just cleaning those up. Now I've got that all done, I can measure piece of MDF to fit in there. Obviously I'm going to paint that black. Like a glove. And I'm just cleaning that up, getting it nice and smooth, ready for a paint job. So first coat I'm going to do a grey primer. I did actually give that a quick lightly sanding down before I did the black chalkboard paint. So it's a nice smooth surface. Right, I'm just cutting the um, nail holes from this now. Cleaning those up. Quick sand down. And these are the shelves. And a quick clean up. Right, just measuring out the uh, shelf brackets. Let's see how much I need. 
I'm just going to freehand a little pattern in there now for the bottom part. Quickly cut that out in the bandsaw. I've got that cut out. Now I can transfer that design onto the other board. Right now the shelves, I'm going to square those off, again having the table saw would be so handy, but I don't own one, so I do everything on the bandsaw. Right, now I want to uh, do something for the top like I did for the bottom, I'm just measuring out where the shelves are going to be. Again, I'm going to freehand a pattern. A bit of a curve. All done. Now I can transfer that onto the other board. Clean that up. Get the saw marks out. Just going around the edges there. Right now, to measure out the shelves. Obviously, measure twice, cut once. See how it looks. Awesome. Now I'm going to need a little board to go in the middle there for a couple of holes, so I'm going to see what scraps I've got. And just using the same piece from the brackets on the side, which just fits, which is awesome. And it's the same thickness, so it looks Looks good. Okay, so I'm going to start putting it all together now. Drilled all the holes, countless sink them. ready to go together. Gluing it up, screwing it in. Right, now it's ready to get attached to the backboard. So I marked out all the holes to the counter sinks at the back. on to leave a mark so I know where to drill. Okay, so I'm just rounding off the edges here. As I say, it's pallet wood build, so I want to make it look like it's, it's reasonably old and worn. So I'm just rounding off the edges and just putting the frame together for the chalkboard uh, just using glue here and that awesome little square clamp and that's all dry okay so I'm gonna give it a little paint job I'm using satin walnut there varnish decided to 
paint that separately because I didn't want to paint it with the chalkboard in so it'd be a bit messy so I glued that on screw it in at the back just putting on the coat hooks making sure they're all level and square and there all done up on the wall looking good If you liked the video, thumbs up would be awesome guys, and uh, thanks for watching, cheers bye!